everyone. Good morning and welcome to My Crafty Adventures. I'm here today with something a little bit different from what I normally bring you. Um, I, I'm participating in a new collaboration. It's called the Weekly Collage Assignments by Marguerite Miller. And I stumbled across this while watching some card makers. And what it is, is she gives you prompts every week so that you can create a collage. Now, why did I start this? I have honestly been in a bit of a crafty funk lately. I don't know if it's all the challenges and all the swaps have just been making me feel a little bit stressed trying to get everything done and completed and out on time. Um, and I needed some way to just play again, play with crafts, have fun, feel like there's no kinds of parameters that I need to follow necessarily, but these prompts um, help me along. They don't take away, let's say, from me being able to just you have some freedom. So I decided to give this a try, and I have to tell you, it was a blast, and I loved it, and I wanted to share it with all of you in case maybe you're in that crafty funk and you need something a little bit different just to clear your mind and to get you playing and having fun with crafts again. When I did the mindful creating and we did that collage week, I really was relaxed at the end of it. It was just such a lovely way to have fun with paper again. So hopefully this is going to do the same for me. So far it has, and um, let me share a little bit more information with you. So again, it's called Collage Weekly Assignments, and this is volume four for 2024, and this is by Marguerite Miller, and I purchased this on Etsy. I will leave the link down below in case you're interested. And here is what the assignment is. Here's how it works. So you read through all the collage assignments, and she has one starting the first week in January, going all the way through the end of the year. You determine if you are able to find all five prompts, so it's not written in stone. She gives you prompts. She also gives you a bonus prompt. If you can find them, great. If you can't, that's okay, too. The bonus is there in case you need to swap out one of your other prompts. So perhaps you don't have in this first one something associated with water or a portion of a poem or song you enjoy. You can swap that out with the bonus piece, which is an unusual symbol or shape. One of the things I've been noticing too by watching people in this challenge is you can use the bonus piece in addition to the other prompts as well. So there's no hard and fast rules. This is more just a guide. Choose a glue book or somewhere you'd like to create your collage. Use a scrap pattern paper in your collage as a background. After you create a collage with your five prompts, add a sticker, a rubber stamp, or anything else to embellish it if you'd like. So you get to do that in addition. If you're on social media, share your work using the hashtags. So we are currently up to week 23. That's where I started. And the prompts for this week are a key, a building, a white space, something magical, an office supply, and the bonus is tissue paper. And I'll be honest, I was nervous about trying this. I didn't quite know where to begin. Uh, but the one thing I did do is looked for a nice journal to start putting my collages in. So I did purchase this Delusions Journal by Ranger, and I just love it. It's a multimedia journal for all wet and dry types of crafting, so that's terrific. And it's a 5 by 8 I believe, which is a nice size for me. I know some people collage... Eight and a half by 11. Some people do, you know, four by four. I've seen people make just cards. You can do an ATC size, whatever you want. There is no rule as to what size it should be. But I did buy this beautiful journal and it's got a little pocket here in case I want to hold on to any little elements. And then it's just got all these beautiful pages. It's a little stiff right now. I need to break it in. But I am excited to use this and put my collages in it. And there we go, there it is. So I really wanted to get started with this, but my journal hadn't arrived yet. 
So I just cut out a piece of five by eight paper for myself to use. And then I thought maybe I could just glue it into the journal when the journal came. And let me show you what I created. I'm back to the prompts again, let's take a look. A key, so I have a couple of different keys here. I have this um, key bridge, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, and I just cut this photo out. And it has the love locks that you see on the bridges in Paris, or you used to see the bridges in Paris and other European countries. And then I also added a little key gem right there. Let me bring this in just a little bit more. My building is the Eiffel Tower. White space, I'm sure you can see a lot of white space. And one of the things that I did do is covered it with the tissue paper just to give it some texture because I knew I was only using a white cardstock because I wanted that white space, but I also wanted it to have some texture. So the whole piece is covered with some tissue paper. Uh, something magical, which I think is a sunset. And I inked these with uh, my Distress Oxides and I had a blast doing that. And then I just cut it out with a circle punch. And then an office supply, well, I did the two of those. I have some staples here, just for a little added dimension. And I also have some tape, which is an office supply. And what I did here was a really cool trick I learned from crafter Biddy Penny. And she taught us to take your tape and any color alcohol marker that you want and just scribble on the tape the color and then you can go ahead it'll dry in seconds and use the colored tape so i decided to give that a try and i'm really thrilled with how that turned out i just think it's so adorable let me bring this back up again a little bit so i had a lot of fun with that at the end i took some gold uh, paint and just splattered it on for a little extra dimension and I think this is really fun and I'm going to put it in my journal with my prompt and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing it on a separate piece of paper and just adding it to the journal or if I'm going to do it right in the journal I'll probably end up doing it right in the journal but this was my first attempt so maybe we'll make this the cover page <laughs> Again, super, super fun. If you're interested, one more time, this is called Collage Weekly Assignments, Volume 4 by Marguerite Miller. It's on Etsy. As I mentioned, I will leave the link below. And these are the hashtags that you use. So this week would be hashtag 2024CW23. And you can go ahead and follow that hashtag and look at some of the beautiful creations that other people have made. Like I said, I'm new to this. Hopefully I will become more comfortable with the process as the time goes on, but I'm just really enjoying it for what it is. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next crafty adventure. Take care now, everyone. Goodbye.